Then we have to talk about these, of course. Joe Fresh Goods is back. Joe Fresh Goods is back at New Balance with some really interesting models that he's basically picked. Normally, he was picking a lot of, I would say, what, lifestyle shoes, right, in terms of stuff that you'd wear day to day. But this is sort of a little bit more specific, sort of H AC, like outdoors, ACG type of style um, um, footwear that you would imagine that he's trying to maybe tell a different story. And this is courtesy of modern notoriety. It says Joe Fresh Goods and New Balance Beneath the Service Pack is going to be dropping in April 2023. And the models are really cool. But what really sets these apart are the colorways. Joe Fresh Goods and the colorways are insane. Him and Teddy Santis, who's now obviously in charge of New Balance USA and is also the founder of Emilion, sorry, uh, Emilion Dior, is just smashing it. Those two guys are carrying New Balance USA, New Balance Worldwide on, the, on their backs. So I'm really surprised personally for me, given how much source Joe Fresh Goods has given New Balance, I'm surprised they haven't locked him down on the contract. Or at least an exclusivity contract because he's doing too much good. Like I, he's not he's not had a single drop yet that has for me not hit. Even the vans that he put out were legit flames. I think they look absolutely amazing, man. I love these. Um you got two you got two different shoes, same shoe here, two different colorways. Um and then you've got this cut and then you've got this model as well, which is more of a hiking one that Emilion Dior sort of like brought back as well in the green and the camo design. But the colorways are just so well done. Like his ability to kind of match the silhouettes of the colorways on these sort of lows. You've got this really nice um sort of cream and green sort of mode. And then of course you've got this nice boot colorway too, um, with the olive greens on the top and the camo here on the mud guard. I love the addition of these um you know, gold D ring lace loops here at the top. They give it a real kind of vintage sort of vibe here. Leather insole, which is always a nice little addition. The label looks really cool. I got a love. I, I really like these, man. Joe Fresh Goods does really well in terms of what he puts together with these shoes. He's done amazingly well with New Balance. And I think these are going to be really, really popular with people when they eventually get their hands on them. But they look absolutely incredible. All colorways are matching. And again, that's the thing I'm thinking about, right? Like, imagine these shoes. For as great as they are in terms of the material selection, like on this one in particular, you've got two different types of mesh. You've got this nice kind of uh, printed kind of material on the orange. You've got some black, you've got some greys. But take away all the materials and textures and just think of it based on colorway. The colorway is banging. You've got orange, um, army um, camo, olive green, some a bit of some dark greens here. These could look really good on any model if you put them together. So big up Joe Fresh Goods for just being really good at colorway designs and where to place them on a shoe in terms of its paneling and whatnot because these look absolutely great and I can't wait to end up seeing them in hand when they eventually do, 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 do drop. Then, of course, he obviously made a statement too, which I'm going to quickly read here regarding them. On his Instagram, he said, introducing the fifth installment of our collaboration series with just, um, Joe Fresh Good and New Balance beneath the surface pack 610. The Rainer boot is said to be part of our up and coming spring 2023 collection. Oh, okay. So I guess this may be a full contract. Maybe because he says fifth installment. Maybe they've got 10 installments and then they're going to re review. Who knows? Uh, creating my own camera print <laughs> has been a dream for me for a while now. When it comes to the pack, I wanted to explore the various ways in which we could use a Joe Fresh Goods print to bring the details out from the tonal base of the shoe to the mesh. Every detail has been thoroughly thought out and crafted to bring the makeup of the shoe alive. Easily my most detailed shoe to end being late. Oh, wow. So he actually designed this camo print. Okay, that's an actual, that's a good flex, mate. He designed that camera print that you see there and also the camera print that you can see a bit more, a bit more clearer in the Rainer boot, which is this one. So that camera print is actually designed. That's actually really cool. That might have been such a cool pleasure to have and to have them, you know, New Balance's resources to produce those, manufacture those to that level of detail as well. It's absolutely incredible and quality also. Like, yeah, even the, even the laces choices are really good. Um, I love this, that, that style. I don't know what, what finish it is. It's more of a silky finish. It's not really brushed or leather sort of stuff that you're used to. I really like that. That was really, really cool. So yeah, big up Joe Fresh Goods. These look really incredible, look really impressive. I like everything about them and I can't wait to see them when they do eventually drop in hand for everybody to get their hands on them. But I'm sure they're going to sell out really, really quickly. 